Good morning, afternoon or evening and welcome back to Edenia. Today, playing some more Banished. So, um, this is probably going to be the last episode of this year. Yes, um, because it's almost New Year's evening and um, probably by the time this is out you've all had your Christmas breaks and probably some of you who are still in school are still on Christmas break. Uh, but this is going to be the last episode of this year, so yeah, let's make the best out of it. And next year, of course, we will continue on the regular schedule. Uh, there might be a week of nothing, that's why this episode uh, comes out. Because um, you're not the only ones who get a couple of days off. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably catch up uh, early in January. And then the second week of January, you'll have some new, some new episodes to look forward to. So yeah. Thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, it's going to be great. The mine is about to be built. Now, this is nice. We're going to get some iron in. And as soon as we get the iron and the stone, we can make this one. Uh, should we just do coal on this one? Or should we actually do some iron on this one? Because we're still gathering all sorts of stuff from all sorts of regions. We just need people. That's the only thing. We need miners and stone cutters, and we're running out of people because everyone's dying. Oh, bam! That was an uh, that was an unexpected early spring. Wow! All right, uh, <laughs> let's continue then. Um, first, we've got some comments. Well, I say comments, but it's only just one comment, and it's from Thomas Weferink. The best way to start the day: cup of coffee. And a new Banished episode. And I couldn't agree more. I'm always drinking coffee right before recording my Banished episode. So there you go. Uh, thank you for tuning in, Thomas Vieferink. So at the moment, our mine is being built, which is very nice. We're going to need some more housing around here to, uh, to make sure that we've got plenty of people working here. Speaking of housing, we're going to need a lot of housing here as well. Um, still using the stone and the iron that we gather to uh, build houses every now and again because we, we, we're going to need a lot more people. A lot more people. Um, for instance, there is a pearl living here not being able to pair up with someone else. And I find that hard to believe, actually. Uh, let's see, is there any, uh, are there any single ladies in town? I don't think so. Uh... Nope, no single ladies of age, at least. <laughs> let's uh, keep. Let's make that very clear. Um, nope, nope, nothing. Ah, oh, someone's cold. Um, that's not the best. We're nicking all the firewood, of course, to uh, to use in the trade. But uh, we're going to get a lot of more, a, a lot more logs in when this is done. So we'll uh, we'll be sure to keep a stock of that firewood. Also, we're going to make coal and we're going to make steel tools in the blacksmith. So, uh, that should be very nice. Steel tools will last a lot longer. So, that's very good. And it will keep people from traveling a lot. The herbalist is finally uh, finally being built. So, we can get some herbs in, get the health back up. Um, children are being born, but uh, nowhere does it say that we... Uh, oh, look. The mine is done, but we have no one living here. Let's make this the coal mine. Actually, it doesn't really matter if we make it a coal mine or an iron mine, because either one of these will have to be tra transported towards the blacksmith anyway. Uh, I think it would be best to relocate the blacksmith and put it somewhere around here. Just outside the market. That would be really nice, actually. Uh, someone's become a student, uh, Bertrandal, and Laura Store was born great stuff um, so yeah having a blacksmith near the market will definitely be very useful for us so you know what let's do it let's build a blacksmith how big is this can it fit it can it can fit there nicely all right let's build the blacksmith then and we'll uh, we'll not get rid of the current blacksmith because <laughs> that's gonna be disastrous if we do that we're just gonna have two blacksmiths and these are gonna produce steel tools from now on and uh, we need some miners then um, speaking of which I think we can get rid of some stone cutters to have two miners there we go two miners and they can work here they can pick up coal 
Let's just say you pick up coal for now. That's fine. Um, we do need a bit of iron for all these houses, don't we? Yeah. Quite a bit. You know what? Uh, let's, uh, let's do iron for now. Let's just mine iron for now. And let's make you make iron tools for now. That's fine. We're going to get a lot of stone in. We're going to get... Oh, um, Rollo has become an adult and is now working as a laborer. Isn't that nice? But we're really going to get that... We're really going to need to get this production up. Because 24 stone in a season is not a lot. We're going to need more people. So let's have more miners, more stone cutters. And should we have, uh, have the limit changed on here? I think... Now, I think that's not necessary for now. Let's see, the herbalist is in. Great stuff. Uh, does she need a house? He or she definitely needs a house. Which is going to build a house right here. Now, some people are still uh, grabbing items from here. Oh, it's such a mess. <laughs> it's such a mess. But we'll live with it. That's fine. We'll just live with it. All right, let's zoom in a bit, right? Let's uh, take a good look at what we've got going on. So the quarry here, I love it. The quarry is very nice. Uh, we can uh, we can get a nice view of it like this. So we've got another laborer, uh, Shawana. That's nice. Yeah, let's just get a closer look for once. You know, I've, I'm always playing zoomed out. Let's just... Uh, Take a quick look around town. What we've got right now. What we've got going on. So we've got some people using wheelbarrows. And that's that's a very nice sight to see. We've got vendors. We've got traders. Uh, this is still not filled in. We we need to fill in this very soon. Uh, Charlo has become a student. Great job, Charlo. Stay in school. Yeah, so we've got iron um, being produced. Which is very nice. Very nice to have iron being produced. Uh, we're going to need some for the tools that we're creating. And this blacksmith will have to give way sooner rather than later. Uh, the tailor can still be here though, I think. Or we can just uh, make this a mining town and move the tailor up here as well. Should we move the tailor up here? Uh, this is getting a bit cramped. Let's uh, take a quick look. If we can fit... A tailor in here. I don't think so. No, 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 no. That's not going to work at all. Could go here, but that would uh, encroach on the forest. We're already encroaching on the forest a bit. Yeah, that wouldn't wouldn't be the best. We need a bit of area, you know, a bit, a bit of a foresty area here. So let's not build this way. Let's keep the tailor up there. That's fine. Uh, we could also just put the tailor up here if we wanted to. Because here's where the hides are going to be coming from. Is that within market? Uh, no, it's not within the marketplace. Uh, well, we'll keep it here for now. That's fine. <laughs> we'll just keep it here. All right. So um, we've got stone. We've got iron. We're building houses. We're building. Uh, we're building a lot of stuff actually. And this needs to be built soon. Very soon. Uh, the old folks have probably all died because in a couple of years now we haven't had anything in a year no one has died so I think the old guard is uh, I think the old guard has died but Elwood Row we haven't seen yeah, Elwood Row is still living here uh, so we're gonna see more people die of old age very soon that's not the best uh, and Elville and Kamala are still here as well and Lamarcus we're going to see those people perish very soon, I'm afraid. We're going to have to build a graveyard at some point. Um, so yeah, people are ticking away at the mines. How much is this producing? Four iron. <laughs> it's produced four iron so far. That's not the best. I'm thinking, is there a way to get production up except with steel tools? Because if you have steel tools, uh, they don't improve production. But uh, people will need to go back to the market to get a new tool less often. So that's very, very nice to have. Uh, we've got four students. We're still doing fine on, uh, on education. Some old people living here. Maverico, the teacher. We've got some people going out into the wilderness to gather resources. 
Yeah, that will that will have to continue for now because you know it's uh, it's early summer. We don't have the uh, we don't have the burden of winter yet, so we might as well make use of it. There's some stuff here as well which we need because we're gonna need uh, yeah we're gonna need people working in the mines as well as people picking up stuff from the outside. But I think personally. We'll grind a halt to, uh, you know what, we'll uh, cancel cancel removal of resources from this area because that's a bit of a, that's a bit of a trek. Same with this area, we'll cancel it. Now I love it that the people will go all the way outside, but let's not do it for now. Let's just, let's just have these people be in and around town. Yeah, that's fine. We want our laborers to be in and around town, and we want them to move stuff around so that stuff gets done easier. Oh, look, this house is being built. Great stuff. We'll get some housing in. Um, Kemalar, the builder, has died of old age, and Katriz has replaced uh, him, I think. <laughs> Kemalar was a him, right? As a, as a builder. Nice. So there we go. We've got uh, we've got uh, Elvil. Oh no, Camilla was his wife. Uh, we've got Elvil working on the house now. He he's very old. He knows how it's done. Uh, Lanika the hunter. And no one uh, has died, and no one is able to replace Lanika. We're gonna need. Uh, we are gonna need some hunters. So which role can we? Uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's get rid of two vendors and two traders. In order to uh, sustain through this wave of old age. Yeah, we're going to see more of this happening all the time now. Because people are a varied age now. So people will die all the time. So we need a big pool of laborers. So we need more houses to get more people in. For which we need more food. For which we need more tools. For which we need more iron and stone. You see how this vicious cycle works, right? It's a... Uh, it's not the best, but it has to be done. So as soon as this blacksmith is uh, is done, we can remove this one. Probably build some houses around here. Um, get some stuff done. We could build a hunter's cabin here as well. Now, I think that would be very nice to have a hunter's cabin there as well. But, yeah, I don't know really how we're going to fix that just yet. Um... Because this is scheduled to be built first, which is nice. And then we get a lot of houses around here, which is also very nice. There's just a lot of stuff that we need at the same time. Let's speed it up for a second, right? Let's just see if anything interesting happens. So the new house that was recently built has been occupied by Perled and Natharissi. So that's going to become a new couple. That's very nice. And... Uh, yeah, harvest is coming in, so we've got plenty of food once again. It is a late ho uh, harvest. Uh, earlier we had harvests around early summer, and now it's uh, it's taken up to early autumn. So I don't know if we can if we can get everything in. Probably might need the farmers. Yeah, I think we're going to need the farmers, and we're just going to rely on the farmers being laborers. Then in the meantime, oh, this is not the best. Um, we're using logs for these houses. We're using all the iron and stone we can muster for these houses. Uh, it's simply not the best we can do. Um, so the herbalist is finally getting some herbs in. Look at that. Just because it's in ancient forest now. It will get a lot more herbs done. So that's really nice. Uh, harvest is coming in. Thank God. Um, so yeah, we're going to need more farmers. And uh, we probably might want to do an orchard as well sometime soon. To get some uh, some variation again in fruits. That would be really nice. Even though we have a lot of variation. And I don't think health is going to be very um, very much influenced by it. Uh, look, they already had a child. Gilisetta. Gilisetta, the child. A girl. Congratulations. And Avalano has become a student. Very nice. Um... Let's see, this farmer, what's, uh, what's her, her name? Dora. Dora is uh, currently exploring this farm field. 
so to speak. That's that's the worst joke I've made all week. You can tune out now. That's fine. Uh, it's not going to be any better. Um, so yeah, we've got the house ready to be built here. We're just needing resources. That's all. I'm not going to be able to build anything because I've already put so much buildings in queue. It's uh, it's simply not going to happen. We're going to need a miner and a stone cutter, I believe. Uh, because harvest is all right for now. Look, if these fields are empty, the other farmers will help on this farm. You see, so that's uh, that's good. These farmers will help and they will pick up the stuff. So I don't worry that this is going to be too late. I'm not going to worry that this perishes, this food. Even though we're quite on the edge now. It's almost winter. <laughs> oh, that is a bit, of a, a bit of a thing, yeah. It's almost winter. Nothing's happening. So yeah, we're wasting food by not having enough farmers. And that's what you get from these uh, intensive jobs, you know. You need you need iron and, uh, and and stone all the time. Look, these guys are carrying stone and so, uh, somehow logs probably falling into here. Oh, this field is done, finally. Uh, I hope it didn't perish. That would be a shame. We're going to need new farmers next season. So these students, uh, I've, got, I've got work for you. I've got work for you. Um... Uh, this stuff, it's not going to get built anytime soon. We're going to need more foresters then and more gatherers as well. Jeez, this is going to be quite intense on the on the labor market. Uh, this is already empty, yeah. We've got the bridge, which we prepared. Oh, look, the bridge is being built, finally. So we can get this stone because it's very close by. And we're going to get some, uh, some buildings done then. Collect stone from this side of the river. That will be grand. Yeah, just get it all. Just get this. This is all I want for Christmas. So we've got the fishes in. Yep, the fishes are still doing nice things. 714 fish. Oh, look at that. These people are gathering the stone. Should we have a small... Uh, uh, what's it called? A small a stockpile here? Yeah. Let's just do a quick stockpile. So you can put the stone there and continue working. That's fine. Very nice. And it's a very uneventful winter, actually. Uh, some people are cold. This house doesn't... Oh, poor, poor old Elville. Doesn't have any, uh, any firewood, any fuel. None at all. That's a bit of a shame. It's very sad. We're still uh, filling up this... Yeah, we're still filling this up. We're not producing as much firewood as we would like. And that's because we're probably not getting as much wood as we would have liked. Well, this is still quite a bit of wood. 300-something. We've got all stone houses, so we shouldn't be using any fuel at all, actually. Hmm. Doing well on the iron part, though, so that's good. That's cool. Uh, Reddy has become a student. He's ready to be educated. <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> I lied. It is going to get worse, these jokes. Yep. Alright, so winter is over. So these guys do not need firewood anymore. Uh, that's great. And now we can finally get on with it. We've got plenty of food, by the way. I'm not going to up the farmers. If a harvest fails, we can probably bridge it for one, uh, for one season. That's going to be fine. And there we go. Early spring of year 12. We're just going to turn back the clock again just a bit times two is uh, fast enough for us now and uh yeah we're just gonna just gonna take a look at what we can do in the nearby future because the next episode is going to be next year for you guys uh, it's going to be in january because uh well during the uh during the uh, new year's eve of course i'm going to be spending it with my family i'm not going to record any episodes so that's going to be uh, somewhere next year um we're gonna need to. Uh, we're gonna need to. Oh, look, a vendor, a merchant. He's got some sheep. Oh, great. Uh, you know what? We'll uh, we'll get some sheep. That's gonna be grand. Uh, all six of them. Yep, yeah, all six. Grand. Uh, let's see how much. Uh, how many units that will cost me? Oh, that's great. Sheep. That's a nice way to uh, to end the New Year's. Alright, let's trade it for six sheep. 
Great. And now we have to manage our inventory because this is going to get out of hand. We only need a thousand firewood here. Because otherwise, uh, we're going to deliver all the firewood again to here. And that's not what we want. This house is being built. We're going to need a pen for these sheep. Um, somewhere nearby. Uh, pop, 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 pop. It would probably be best if it was around here, but there's no room. We could get rid of one field and have it be a sheep pen instead. Have some peppers somewhere else. You know what? I think that's... Yeah, we can do it. Great. We'll need this to be a sheep pen then. Let's... Uh, a pasture, as it's known. There we go. 10 by 10 pasture. Great. So have it be built, and I want priority on that one, because otherwise our sheep will die in the trader's pens, and that's not the best. We need logs now. Bring me logs. <laughs> that's got priority. So this building, oh, we've got some stone houses, that's great. Look at that, we've got six sheep, so we can make uh, wool coats, and we can also make uh, warm coats. That's going to be grand. We're going to make the best coats in town. Edenian fashion. Great stuff. Alright, so these sheep, uh, as soon as we've got a herdsman, we will need one herdsman. And uh, just bring the logs here, that will be fine. <laughs> bring some logs. Let's uh, prioritize this again, just to be sure that it, it is prioritized. I'm very paranoid when it comes to prioritizing. I don't know why, but this needs to be done. There we go. So, uh, we've got one field less, but that's fine. Uh, we've got sheep, and now we can get wool. And with wool, we can make nicer coats that will keep people warm longer during winter. So, that's very cool. Um, well, it's not very cool. It's very warm, actually. Uh, let's see. Uh, we had uh, a child named Kalia was born, and a child named Katie was born. Um, we've got his... Uh, uh, we can dismiss him. He's got nothing else. If we had anything else, we also purchased it because we're also purchasing logs, stone, and iron. Um, let's see. We, we got, we've got so many things. That's really nice. Uh, we've got some firewood being, being uh, put back into the system. So uh, our firewood production guys will cease at the uh, at the age of a thousand. That will be nice. So, uh, we've got someone clearing these uh, these crops now. That's good. Because, uh, yeah, we planted some beans, <laughs> apparently. And it still uh, offers us a bit of food. It's probably not very nice. Probably not very much. But, you know, it's working. It's fine. Alright, cool. So, we have a pasture and we have a herdsman. So, next time, uh, next time, next year, when we, uh, when we play this game, we can move the sheep up. And we can have some uh, some wool coats. That's going to be really nice. And some um, some warm coats as well. I don't know if we're going to make both. I think we're just going to make the warm coats. I think that's the best course of action. Uh, we're running low on tools. We're going to we're going to need to make some more tools very very soon. And you know perhaps it's even best to say let's pause some of these houses uh, because it's going to be very. Oh, Katie, uh, Katie and Kalia were born. Both of them. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna pause some of these because it's gonna be very tiresome to build all of these houses in one go. We're just gonna, we're just gonna keep the blueprints. There we go. We are gonna build this area though. That area is gonna be built because we need the, uh, we need the extra forest node. Wow. Alright, so, sheep. Great stuff. Um... Yeah, with that note, I think we're going to call the episode here. So thank you very much for watching this last episode this year of Banished. Uh, thank you for tuning in. And uh, yeah, I just want to say um, uh, I hope you had a nice Christmas. I hope you had some nice holidays. And enjoy your New Year's evening. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all again in the next year. So thank you so much for watching. And see you all again next time. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.